General Douglas MacArthur once said, it is fatal to enter a war without the will to win it. I am impressed by the will shown by so many people to do whatever they had to do to make this museum possible. It is most appropriate that we dedicate this facility to the many veterans who have served our nation well. I want to In 2006, the members of the museum approached the Osceola County Board of County Commissioners about the possibility of obtaining assistance from them in acquiring a new location for the museum. And by a vote of five to zero, the commissioners agreed to provide that assistance. After many ups and downs, we have finally realized our hopes of having a larger building to house our collection. What you will see today reflects some, but not all, that has been collected over the last nine years of which 90% has been either donated or lent to us by former veterans. Please understand that our collection in the museum will be ever-changing, so that on your return trips to visit us, you will always find something new on display for our local citizens, our children, and our tourists to enjoy. But being able to stand here and know that the sacrifices that are made in this community and around the country will be recognized here in Osceola County at a point where we have millions of tourists that come through here. And to let them know the message that these men and women and animals, the war dogs, that made this sacrifice so that we can be here today is truly, truly humble. We are honored to welcome Colonel Danny McKnight as our keynote speaker this morning. Colonel McKnight and his wife Linda live in Rockledge, Florida, where they grew up and went to high school. Colonel McKnight is now retired after a very distinguished 28 and a half year career in the U.S. Army that included combat duty on two occasions, including Somalia in 1993 that was the basis for the book and the movie, Black Hawk Down. Colonel McKnight's awards and decorations include the Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, the Meritorious Service Medal, the Army Commendation Medal, and a million other awards, and if I read them all off to you, we'd be here the rest of the day. I was very, very fortunate to be asked by uh, my good friend Rob Medina in a phone call and said, uh, are you free on this particular Saturday? And when I saw I was and he told me what it was about, I said, even if I wasn't, I probably would have made it free, okay, to be here. This is that important. The men and women that we have wearing the uniforms out there today that do what they do, they are the most amazing people in the world. And we can't even tell them thank you enough. I know one day they're all gonna be home safe and sound, and I look forward to that day, but I also look forward to completion of the mission before we bring them home, and they would tell you, don't bring me home until I'm through doing what I'm doing. And I bring that message to you from them. They don't want to leave unless it's finished. And they would tell you we're not quite there. We're close, but we're not quite there. See, that's what this museum is about. Military history that young men and women have made for years and years and years. I mean, we didn't get to be 235 plus years old accidentally. We got to be there because of people sitting here who have served in that uniform and are represented by this great museum. And what a great location because everybody comes to Disney World that live in the world anywhere. They can come here and they can learn more. They win. One, two, three, or what? All right. Make sure you plan a visit to the Museum of Military History at 5210 West Earl Bronson Highway, Kissimmee, Florida 34746. You'll be glad you did. <laughs>